Hello. I'll do that thing that Trini does where she's like, I'll just give it a minute for everyone to join. Hello, hello. Right, I'm gonna crack on because we could be here for hours. Um, you will know that last week I released my Space NK box. Um, I was going to film a how to um, use it when we got back from the States. And then we got back from the States and I had to go to the dentist and the whole half of my face was swollen. And since then I've been doing events. I know I should be looking here, but it's really weird. Um, so I'm doing it now. And I thought if I'll do it live. And then the reason I'm doing it this way is because I've done three events with Space NK. Um, and I get asked questions that it wouldn't occur to me to answer doing one of these. So I just thought you would be able to ask questions while I'm talking about certain products, if I can keep up with the comments, which are already a bit scary. Hi, Molly. Um, so this is the box. Now, I, I, I just wanna say from the off, it is completely sold out and we are not making any more. I'm sorry, we made thousands, but they went overnight. Looked like this. Um, I was, we were all kind of taken aback by how quickly it went. I will say a few things. Um, we are not making any more. Uh, there will be new things released at the same time as the book. So the book is the end of April. If you like kits and that kind of thing, save up. And then at the end of April, beginning of May, you will be able to get some new nice things. I thought I'd go old school and wear the camo as well. Um, will you be doing any collabs or boxes similar to this? Not, I'm doing my own. I'm not doing any more collabs, I'm doing my own. Again, new kit. Yes, there's a new kit, but not until book time. Um, so the box has eight full-size products. Um, I will start with Kate Somerville, goat milk cleanser. Um, most of the people on the Space NK event, at the Space NK events, had used this. Um, I love it. It is suitable for all skin types. I'll unscrew it so you can see. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I did book signings yesterday. If you bought the box, you will have had this inside it. And it is um, a 25% off uh, da -da 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 -da, uh, of the book, of a signed copy of the book. Oh, I'm wearing my jacket. Look, I didn't actually plan that. Maybe I should get a new one. Um, that is in your Space NK box. And I did that yesterday. I signed the books yesterday and look what I did as a result. Thousands of books like this. Yeah, there's the wrist. It's not attractive. I've had it strapped up. I will keep it strapped up, which means I may not be demoing a lot of things on my hands because I can take it off. But then if I take it off and I hurt myself, you're gonna feel bad because I'll be like, ow, it's that kind of thing where you catch it and you're like, ah, um, it was all worth it. So you can, I'm not entirely sure actually, what does it say? Oh, let's just be naughty. If you use the code SKIN25, you can get a signed copy from Waterstones. Sorry, Waterstones, I just can't, I'm just gonna put it there. Elevate, elevate, elevate. I know, but I'm working. I can't really walk around like this. So, Kate Somerville, uh, you can use it as a first cleanse, a second cleanse, uh, a PM cleanse, an AM cleanse, all skin types. Uh, I apply it to dry skin uh, and then I add a little bit of water and massage it through. I don't emulsify and wash off, that's not me. I like a flannel, as we know. Um, so yeah, there's not too much I can tell you about this that you don't already know. It is a wicker cleanser. Nourishing is a good word to describe that cleanser. Yes, I know. Um, I agree, I love it. No housework for at least two weeks, yeah. I've got that, thank you. Um, so yeah, that's really easy. I wanted to focus more on the products that you might not be that aware of. Uh, suitable for all, crack on. Yes, you can use it on your eyes, uh, the question. You can use this on your eyes. The entire box is cruelty-free, whoever asked. It's all cruelty-free, and yes, you can use it on your eyes. Okay, Oskia. Peeling and acids. I have um, not backtracked from using acids. That is entirely the wrong impression I want to give. But while I have been using um, much stronger prescription, I wouldn't say medication, <laughs> could do it with this. While I've been using much stronger prescription products in the evenings, 
Um, I've laid off the acid, so I'm not using an acid in the evening and I occasionally use it in the morning. So this one I've dropped in sort of maybe every third, fourth night. Um, Oskia liquid mask looks like this. Ta-da! Me, Carrie Grant, Grace Kelly, it's all happening. Um, now this is 10% lactic acid. Being Oskia, it is also loaded with their Hey New Jersey, Bon Jovi, Bruce Springsteen, I feel it. Um, it is also loaded with all of the usual vitamins and minerals that Oskia use. It's pink, can you see? Look at that lovely pink. Um, and niacinamide. So not only does it gently exfoliate your skin, it also helps with uh, dullness, pigmentation, stimulating your collagen, basically trying to kickstart things. Uh, I would only say, if you are super, super sensitive, I would patch test it. And when I say patch test it, you're probably, everyone says to do it here, but actually most of your reactions are here. So I would patch test it here. Just do like a couple of drops, see how you feel. Um, otherwise, avoid the red areas and go around the peripheral. Um, yes, you can use it in your 20s. And yes, it's lactic. And yes, it is safe in pregnancy. Oh my God, it's, it's all there. Okay, yes. Yes, it's safe for 20s, mid 20s, safe for pregnancy, um, all skin types, but with any acid, I would be silly not to say, I think you should just patch test. However, um, I've had no, com I usually get comments straight away saying I've tried that. It's really, um, uh, normally I'll get things saying it's too strong for me, da da da. But it is, um, it's just, it's not mild. That would be doing it a disservice. It's just a chilled, efficacious acid. That makes sense. Um, I will try and get to questions as well later if I'm forgetting because if I'm forgetting because the comments are like whoa. Uh, so you would use your cleanser, and then you would put this afterwards. You would do damp, dry skin. Put this on, um, and would you use this instead of any other exfoliating product? Yes, I wouldn't use any other exfoliating product um, if you are using this. So I would just do um, your cleanse apply this, leave it for a little while, and then you can go with anything else. And yes, you apply with the fingers. I just drop it into the palm of my hand and press it onto the face. That's what I do. Um, I would do one or the other. I'm trying to keep up with comments, sorry people. I would do one or the other. And yes, you can use it if you have sensitive skin, but as I said before, patch test. That's Oskia. Love a bit of Oskia, hard to go wrong. The product was Oskia, everyone who's tuning in. Uh, Sunday Riley Good Jeans, it's not similar because the Sunday Riley Good Jeans that we have here, that I do have, please hold caller. Oh. Uh, this is the lactic acid one. Yes, I have the lactic acid. <laughs> um, this is stronger than this. So if you're using this, you'll be, you should be absolutely fine with this. If you use this and felt it was too strong, you'll be fine with this. Makes sense? I don't wanna confuse people, this is not in the box. Um, so yes, I'll try and get some more acids. Uh, this box is sold out. I'm sorry if you're just joining. I'm doing it for people who've already bought it because they're now starting to arrive and I'm getting people saying, how do I use it? Yada, yada, yada. Eye cream, Dennis Gross. Now, Dr. Dennis Gross. Oh, the Oscar is three, two to three times a week. Sorry, I did not say that. Two to three times a week. Dr. Dennis Gross, uh, Ferulic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. It looks like this. Now, I went for this on purpose because it is really, really light. Um, I can test this one actually, because it won't be messy on my dodgy hand. Uh, let me just put a bit more on than I would normally. Look, see, that's two eyes worth, by the way. Um, it is, I'm not gonna put it on because it's, actually I will, who cares? Oh. So when people tune in and say, she looks really greasy, <laughs> she's covered in eye cream. Um, ferulic and retinol, so, Massively antioxidant. Uh, I also wanted to tap into the whole, you can't use retinols on the eye. You can if they are a specific formula. I would not recommend you put a, oh, hang on, get rid of that, go away. I would not recommend that you put a regular vitamin A, especially a prescription strength near the eye. Don't do that. Um, you can use the AM and PM. I do, um, eye cream is the first part of everything that I'm leaving on after the acid, as it were. Um, it's really cooling. My face is like, oh, thanks. Uh, really cooling, really soothing. 
uh, but obviously it's designed to help fine lines, wrinkles, pigmentation, dark spots, all that sort of stuff. Um, I will always say you can never uh, fully get rid of dark circles with product. However, a ferulic is something that would help in that situation. Um, questions on eye cream? <laughs> I'm just going to adjust myself and have a drink of me brew. One sec, please. And I can't lift it from my usual... I don't want sympathy, people. It was totally worth it. You're going to get signed copies. They're fun. By the way, when you've done thousands of them, sometimes your signature goes a bit skew whiff. So I'm sorry that some of you are going to get a book that says things like canoe and kale, but with a C. Some of it went a bit mature. I am going to save this and I'm going to put it on YouTube. Sirens with hirens. Um, this is any age group, but particularly useful for... A uh, woman of a certain age, or a man, don't be sexist, but we have more challenges as women when we get to that hormonal menopausal stage. Um, and I would say, uh, if you are in your 20s, you might want to give it to your mum. You don't have to. You can obviously use it. And Dennis Gross would be like, no, let them use it. You don't have to. But um, if Ava had this, I would steal it. Just putting that out there. Uh, since it has retinol in it, would there be an issue using it with other products near the eyes? Uh, no, it's a dedicated eye product. Uh, the formula is made for the eye. I just want to double check. I'm not... Please hold. Yeah, designed for use on the entire eye area, including eyelids. It's not me going blind, by the way. Look at that. Can you read that? No, that's what I thought. Uh, yes, you can use the eye cream if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Uh, where are we? Um, yeah, AM and PM, exactly as I said. I don't know why I doubt myself, frankly, uh, but it's lush and it lasts for ages. It's, um, as always with eye creams, I don't know, like I've said before, I don't know why the rule came out that we only use a 15 mil. They say it's because you use a tiny amount, but you know. Um, a tiny, tiny pump, all round face, all round, all good. You're good, carry on. Let's pretend that we've done all that and now we're moving on. Votary. Now, if you have any kind of annoyed face, if your skin is angry at you, oh, happy half term, parents. <laughs> um, if your skin's angry at you because you are um, acneic, not that it's your fault, uh, you have eczema, you have rosacea, you've gone too hard with the products, which everyone is still doing a lot at the moment. Um, I would highly recommend that you play with this it is 22 i believe please hold 21 21 that's why i check um 21 botanical and seed acids acids oh my god it's because i'm reading the comments you're putting me off people right here we go yes camo and bun just for you Ginny. um 21 super seed oils hence the name it's not difficult caroline focus uh, super seed facial oil fragrance free now this is looks like that uh, just a really really lovely nourishing soothing calming like that I can't say enough good things about it it's one of those products right and maybe I should do a blog post I should have a note I should have a pen so I can write down Lou bring us a pen please Lou will come in now I'll go don't put me on the camera um I will make a note, but I should do a blog post that is like the SOS products. Uh, would you put this oil into, into every routine? If you are um, uh, anything of the above, I would. I would put it in low uh, AM and PM. Literally a couple of drops. Thanks, mate. Just need a pen. Thank you. Lou's hiding off camera. Uh, blog post. I'm literally making a note, people. Menopausal brain. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Votary Periol Dermatitis. Yes, you could use this on Periol Dermatitis because it is fragrance free. Uh, it won't irritate the area. Uh, this oil just joined is Votary Super Seed Oil. Um, blog post, SOS products. Hey, I'm on it, people, I'm telling you. Okay, so this plays well with others. You can add it to your moisturiser. You can add it to the Chantecaille mask that's coming up. You can use it on its own. Um, you can do pretty much anything with it. It plays well with others. I keep saying that, but you know, and yes, calm down, Charles White, the Sunday Riley's next. 
Um, yes, you can take this under the eye if you are dry. Everywhere. Make sense? I'm coming to the SPF. You need to calm down. I'm doing it in the order of a routine. Um, so this can go on. You can use it in the morning. You can use it in the evening. You can leave it out. You can just keep it for when you want to sort of, your skin needs a bit more of a boost. I just thought for this time of year, let's have some more tea, shall we? The hand might be sore, but it will always be able to lift a cup. Do you know what I mean? Can you use this with Power D from Zellens? You don't need to. They do a similar thing. So keep your Power D separately. Use this separately. Uh, you can use this on your eyelids, but I would not do a lot because you don't want it to go puffy. So I would take it like this, take the dropper out, do it like that, blend it down so there's only a bit on your hand, and then literally do it like that. Don't start rubbing loads of oil over your eyes. Not a good plan, Stan. Right, yes, tea, always tea. Go Liverpool, I know, right? Uh, Moisturiser before oil. Nah, not with me. Calm yourself, Lindsay, I'll tell you for why. Now, Tidal, this. Brightening enzyme water cream. Now, it looks like this. If you have not tried this, this is Sunday Riley. It looks like this. I cannot tip it too much because it will fall out. So I'm going to show you on my hand. So now watch this absorb this. I'm sorry, if you are dry, dehydrated, or you get a little hot and sweaty, do you know what I mean, ladies? This is a dream, right? That's already gone in, gone. However, you can, of course, do all the massaging. Once your product has disappeared from the surface of your skin, don't spend hours rubbing it. Let it do its thing. Leave it alone. Um, there's, I'm pretty sure this is fragrance free. Uh, this is hyaluronic acid, papaya enzymes to gently exfoliate. Uh, alpha arbutin. Now, alpha arbutin is what, there's a theme here, you'll see. I think you will find, oh, I will be in Liverpool. Worry ye not, people. I am coming to Liverpool. It's decaf tea as well. I'm being really boring these days. Um you will find that this gives you immediate hydration. If you are uh, super dehydrated, if your makeup does not stay on your face past 11 or 12, don't worry if you've missed it, I'm gonna save it. Worry ye not. Um, yes, alpha albutin is to help with pigmentation. So this is designed to be rehydrating, help with pigmentation and gently exfoliate. So no, do you need it if you're 20? Well, not unless you had a good teen years and you spent your life boozing and smoking. Um, if, however, you aren't, and I say this with love, you will love this cream. Just putting that out there. Now, to the woman, Lindsay, was it Lindsay? I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Uh, talking about oil and water. Yes, if you were doing it scientifically, you would, of course, say... Um, you would do layer hyaluronic acid. Yes, I'm coming to Cardiff. I am absolutely coming to Cardiff. You have my word. If I have to rent a hotel room and we all just have a party, I'm coming. Um, if you were doing a normal routine and it was just like a hyaluronic acid and uh, a moisturizer and a, maybe you'd put an oil on, you would normally put the oil on last at it, as it is occlusive. I cannot enunciate today. Um, and so it would go last. However, if you are going to then put makeup on, so in the evenings, absolutely do that. However, in the daytime, I promise you, you will have a better result if you do the cleanse, the Oskia. We'll come to the Tan Lux because this can be mixed in. So just bear with. If you do one or two drops of this, and I'm gonna show you. Most people, when I see them apply an oil, and I tell you who does this more than anyone, Philip Bloody Schofield. If you saw me on this morning, he does like a half a pipette. He's like, oh, it feels greasy. Well, of course it does, numb nuts. Look how much you're using. So, look. I say that with love, by the way, Scove. Look at that. That's like nothing. Two drops, right? Someone's so focused on watching me that they forgot they were on the toilet. Make sure you wipe, babe, yeah? Uh, yes, everything goes down the neck and decollete. Everything goes down the neck and decollete. You don't need to take your acid all the way down there, and I would avoid the neck with the acid and a retinol, but otherwise crack on. Um, like two drops and your skin will be transformed. That will also just make your skin barrier reinforced, really comfortable, and then you'll go in with this, hallelujah, happy days, winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
Um, so just trust me. I can hear that like laughing because I'm saying chicken dinner. I say it all the time. I'm a lame. Um, trust me. Yes, by all means, technically and scientifically, you would finish with an oil. However, it is much more comfortable for your skin to finish with this. For this box. Just putting that out there. All good? Now, um, that's the Sunday Riley. Now, here are the three oddities. So let's... Uh, it's not always oil and then cream. That's just how I do it. If I'm going to use an oil and I really want to be like, I call it fluffy faced. Like if you're really dry and dehydrated, here's a little facialist trick, right? If someone walks in for a facial and they look haggard, they look like they were at the Brits with Lizzo and Harry Styles last night, which by the way, I greatly enjoyed. Um, they're knackered, their skin is dry, their makeup is not holding on their face. Um, the first thing, I promise you, the first thing we're thinking is, I'll come back to the skin barrier question, remind me, because that is key. Um, the first thing we're thinking is, I could whack an oil on that and it'd be fine. However, we would, of course, peel, massage, yada, yada, yada. Um, so don't focus too much on everything I'm saying here is appropriate for these products, but every single product is different and every single product used with something else is different. Now, to the question about barrier repair. If your barrier repair, if your barrier repair, if your barrier is compromised and you have the kit, if you don't and you still wanna fix your barrier repair, you would look at your fix your barrier repair. I've got it in my head. Go for something like this. So you're looking at Votary and I would also, I am gonna save the live, don't worry. I would also look at things like the Zellens Vitamin D, right? Things that are designed to nourish, build how very dare someone try and call me i'm hello i'm on instagram um i would go with these and then use a sort of you'll know if your barrier is compromised someone's asked you will know if your barrier is compromised uh it's red it's angry it could be flaky it could be irritated it could be itchy you will know um the people asking now about the oil and the cream watch it when i saved it and put it up because i've been over that before so the three odd ones out, as it were. First up, this is immense. So Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. Now, if you are, as I said in my, um, uh, at my events, if you are blessed in the melanin department, you might find you do not need this at all. Let's face it, if you have a beautiful dark black skin, you don't need it. If, however, I have seen readers using it who have Olive skin, maybe a four on the Fitzpatrick scale. So maybe partly descended from darker skins. Um, it gives you an immediate beautiful, it's not immediate, I'm lying. It gives you an immediate uh, hydration because it's hyaluronic acid. Uh, the tan takes an hour or so. Um, don't forget to wash your hands because it is very, very mild. But if you wear nail polish and it's white, it starts to go a bit brown and you're thinking, why haven't I washed my hands? And you have, it's just this. Now, if you are using this, oh my God, I'm sorry, there are so many questions, good Lord. Um, I'm just making sure I've covered the stuff we've already done. I'm sorry, I'm just, bear with. Hi, Australia, how's Max? Max is fine. Uh, you dropped your Zerlin's Power D. Oh, mate, do you mind? Um, so now back into the routine. If you have this routine, I would use this. I would do eye cream. Then I would apply this and then I would go straight in with Tidal. I would leave out the votary because the oil will stop this mixing with this unless. Now here's where it gets a bit technical and it depends how much time you have and how, you, how much you wanna be bothered. You could do a couple of drops of the Votary just to keep everything um, nourished and plump. Give it a minute, two to absorb. I mean, two or three minutes, make a brew. If you then put this on and put this on afterwards, you can also mix this into a little bit of this in the palm of your hand, but it's not one of those scary fake hands. Put this on, put this on on top, wash your hands, you're good to go. Like I say, if you are blessed in the melanin department, give it to a pale, insipid friend. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you're asking me if something's safe on the eyes. I don't know what you're talking about, I'm so sorry. Um, so, that's that. Uh, 
it's also hyaluronic acid based. So if you are thinking, I just want a simple routine, just cleanse, uh, put your eye cream on, put this on and then put that on and your routine is done. Got it? Okay. I'm blonde, is that going to make me ginger? No, it is subtle as, it is not scary. Can I do a video like this before the spring kits are released? Yes, I will. Uh, I am wearing the Tan Lux now, but this, this, and this is all powder, so it's not this. It just gives you a bit of a glow. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to Australia this year. It might have to be next year, but I am coming to Australia, but I don't think I'm going to make it this year. Um, now, Chantecaille and Wren. Oh, how often should you use it? Very good question, Charlotte Styles 96. Uh, it depends. I... Um, cleanse quite vigorously of an evening. So you will find uh, occasionally you think you forget you're wearing it and then you wash your face and you're like, oh, my flannel's got a bit of what looks like dirt on it. It's tan. Are you pushing something under the door to show me? Just bring it in. Please hold, please. What does that say? I just did at the beginning, you missed it. Come and say hello, Molly. Molly's interrupting me. Molly Hirons. Relation. Did not birth her from my loins. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like I did, I know. Um, the don't fall off your pregnancy ball. What? You're not in labour, are you, Charlotte? You're just having a comfortable bounce. Yes? Okay. Uh, yes, all the future kits are available in the USA. By the way, this kit was available in the USA. It's just that the UK, I think, got to it before the USA realised it was on sale. It was available in the US. Um, not to be distracted, but yes, uh, tan lux, suitable for all skins. Uh, you can use it AM and PM. I use it, if I need to have a bit of color, like I'll use it again tonight and I'll use it again tomorrow um, because I've got the Kate Somerville events and I don't want to look like I'm as knackered as I am. Do you know what I mean? Right, let's focus on something that I love, shall we? Chantecaille. Now, Jasmine and Lily Healing Mask is the product I've been using the longest out of this. Um, I worked for Chantecaille in 2001 until 2005, five, six, uh, a while ago, people. So it was like two kids ago. I didn't have Max and Ava when I started at Chantecaille. Um, Jasmine Lee Healing Mask was in the very, uh, first launch of products that they did for skincare. It's one of their longest standing products they launched with, testing my brain now. Cleansing Milk, Rose Water, Jasmine Lead Healing Mask, Flower Harmonizing Cream, Vital Essence. Oh, I'm doing so good. And I'm missing something. Or was it just five? I'm going to watch this back and test myself. That's not bad. Come on, people. I've had a lot going on in the brain since then. Now, this. I want to... I want, this is when my trainer came back out because, as in me being a trainer. Obviously, I worked for Shantikai for like five years. Launched them. Uh trained for them well, around the world, went to like Taiwan for them, opened the Barney Spa for them, loved them to death. Um, and when I started to talk about this at the Space and K events, I'm just going to, I'm not wasting it, I'm sorry, there's a bit on the limb, I'm just going to put it on my hand. <laughs> yes, I have one hand that is considerably softer than the other. Look at that. Oh, that can just stay there, frankly. I might even take off the bandage and rub it on the other hand for this. I'm not wasting it, people. Um, this, Jasmine Levy Healing Mask. See how white that is? That's not fake. That is not fake. Look at that. Um, oh, there, is, there is something about this mask. It is obviously designed for uh, dehyd... Yeah, retinol takes all our fake tan off, babe. You just have to put it on again. It is obviously designed for... I'm just getting comfy. Settling into the duration. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it is for dehydrated skin, dry skin, reddened skin, rosacea, sensitive acne. You can use this if you have any of those skin issues. Um, you need a little. I just scraped the bit off that came off the lid. It lasts for ages. Now, apply it. Put it on so that you can see it. It doesn't uh, absorb straight away because it has no synthetic pushes in it to make your skin go, oh, I'll just take that really quickly. Your skin has to absorb it on its own. Um, oh, where's the label? Let me just check myself. Hang on, please hold. Uh, da, da, B5, Jasmine Lady, Chantica, uh, Chamomile, Mimosa, Red Algae. Apply to face, rest for five minutes. Rinse. I am not rinsing this off, are you mental? Uh, I would apply it. What happens is, 
Don't worry if you're fuming, Michelle Y. Edwards. I'm going to save it. You can watch it as soon as it comes back on. Now, I'm just massaging it in so you can see. It is, look at that. I mean, I'd say brightening. Don't look at that side. Grim. Um, I look like I'm boxing, don't I? Look, it is beyond. There are very few products where I'm just like, just try it. Like, if you haven't used it, just try it. Go into a Space NK. Get them to give you a Q-tip. Stick it in here. Get it on your boat and see what you think. And if you're American, you might have to Google what boat means. Um, brightening, hydrating, soothing, softening, cooling. My mother still uses this, bearing in mind when I worked with Jean Ticoy, she never paid for it, right? She still uses it, keeps it in her fridge because it keeps her, uh, she has lupus and it stops her skin from breaking out. She credits skincare with preventing the lupus rash that she has on the rest of her body from spreading onto her face. And this is one of her favourite products. At one point, I'm just going to lower you so I don't have to stretch quite so much. Straight there, please. I'm very sorry. At one point, she was... Oh, why is it moved? I'm sorry. So technical. Um, she was using it as a moisturiser. So, don't bring it off. It's crazy talk. But yeah, you can use this as and when. You can keep it. The mask is incredible, isn't it? The life bath. I know, it really is. Um, it lasts for ages. You can use it as frequently as you want or as infrequently as you want. But it fe Now, bear in mind, I have used, I've put one, two, three, four of the products so far in this hand and there's no pilling. It just absorbs. It's lush. Yeah, don't, don't rinse that money down the drain. Mm -mm. Okay, SPF. Now, we managed to get an SPF into this box. You will note, you remember, I did not have an SPF in my winter kit um, because at the time we had what we thought were going to be major shipping issues into countries where the SPF rules are different. And I'll tell you the main reason was because of Australia. Uh, and Aussies were the second biggest purchasers of my winter kit. So I wanted to make sure I could do something for the Aussies. Um, now, as it turns out, the next kit, we do have an SPF. Uh, but for this one, this was a really simple pick because Ren had just uh, re-released a lot of their things. And this is, um, love your yellow mug. I know, I do too. It's actually, it's not the Pantone from the blog, but it, it's, ah! So right, I'm just spilling things. It's fine. I can't get the comment bit down. There we go. Now I can see. I'm sorry. I'm so technical. Anyone would think I was a 50-year-old mother of four. I will go do a rough run through at the end again. So don't worry if you've missed. Um, SPF. Obviously, you're only going to put this on in the morning. First of all, I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, it is 22% zinc oxide. It is a physical SPF. Um, just much easier to go for, for me, it's a hard thing to pick because I like, I personally love a chemical SPF and I say that painfully because everything that's in here is a chemical. So let's focus on that. Do you know what I mean? Um, however, I am all about, uh, the SPF that is thinner and finer and sits really well under makeup. Uh, this is going to be a bit richer by its very definition. I'm going to put a bit on for you. Please hold. So this is again, is the Ren Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30. Do not be worried that it says mattifying. All that means, and I, I wish they'd asked me, I would have said to them, never call a product mattifying, mate, because I promise you, a woman my age is not going to pick it up. But look, it's not. What it means is, it doesn't leave a massive white ashy cast and it means your makeup sits nicely on top of it. That's all it means, really. Look, it's not super, super white, clammy, discolouring. By its very nature, being a zinc at 22%, if you have black skin, it will, you, it will take a while to absorb. Do not use this if you are getting married and you're going to have your photo taken because you will get flashback. You just will. By its very nature, that is what you have to deal with if you are using a physical SPF. 
It is, however, one of the nicest and cleanest, and I mean in terms of application, I don't mean in terms of what's inside it, although they would say that. Ren is obviously Swedish for clean, I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it is not sticky, it's not um, clammy. You know, you just, you put an SPF on and you're like, oh, I can feel it all over. No, we don't have any of that nonsense. It's lovely. So that is when you would use that every day if you are leaving the house. If you're not leaving the house and you're not gonna be sitting in the window all day, don't put it on, you don't need it. Um, routine wise, if you use a primer for makeup, SPF before or after, before. Uh, it's also clean Ren in Danish. Ren is Swedish for reindeer. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. Pixie will be spewing that I got that wrong. Um, I'm just catching up. I missed. Da, 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 da. Please hold. Yes, the Sunday Riley Tidal. My nails are called, it's marshmallow. I can't remember what it is. It was on my Instagram yesterday. It's like a round box and it's a painted on gel. It's not the powder gels. They, they're ickier. They give me the icks. Would this be used? That's what I was looking for. Instead of moisturizer or over or under. It is not used instead of moisturizer. It's an SPF. This first, this second. Uh, so let's do some quick routineage. Now, there's only one cleanser, so that's easy. Wash your face. Done. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Do you know what I mean? Uh, how would you recommend reapplying SPF throughout the day if you're wearing makeup? I would tell you to use this. I'm coming back. I tried to dress the back appropriately. Oh my God. This. Okay, some of the SPF 50, uncomplicated SPF. It is, mm, it actually means both, reindeer and clean. Thank you. I thought I was right. Um, I There's no more boxes, I'm sorry. Uh, I would spray this on top. This is designed to be sprayed. Like, look how, look how fine this mist is. Let me see if you can do it across my jacket. You can't even, look. Super fine. It's almost like a hairspray. Made that way because Kate hates wearing SPF. We are similar sisters. This is super, super, super light. So you would have your makeup on throughout the day and you just literally... Oh, I love that lovely smell of... I know, I'm using my injured hand a lot. I know, but hey, oh, all right. Thanks, nurse. Um, I just can't sit here like this. It's not me, sorry. Um, okay. That SPF has been out of stock for months. It is coming back. I think they've literally had to go into mass production because it is such a winner winner. Yes. So you've cleansed. Lovely. If it's the morning, you may not want to use an acid. You might want to do an acid, but I wouldn't particularly. I would try this in the evening. Two to three times a week, you would do that. So in the morning, mist, if you have a mist at home. Tea's going cold. I can't bear it. It feels like such a waste. Um, if you have a mist at home, you would do that then. Eye cream, AM and PM. Now, here's where you can play. If you're pale and pasty, do a little bit of this, put that on top, then your SPF. Or do a little bit of this, put that on top. If you're not leaving the house, don't bother. Don't do your SPF. If you are um, a bit dry, a bit older, you would do your cleanse, you would do eye cream, two, like two drops of this bit of this on top. Again, if you're not going out, you might want to put a bit of this on top. It depends on entirely, are you leaving the house? Here's what you need to think about when you get up in the morning. Am I leaving the house? Am I wearing makeup? Am I leaving the house wearing makeup and am I going out tonight? Therefore, I need to make sure my makeup can somehow last because God knows I do not have time to fix it all and do it again at lunchtime. All those kind of things need to come into your head when you are thinking about how you are going to do your routine in the morning. So assuming you're going to work, you're doing makeup, you're going to sit on Instagram and talk to thousands of people and not look very together. Uh, I would do cleanse. I, what did I do this morning? I did cleanse. I did Dr. Dennis Gross gentle peel pad. Nice. I did, then I did a mist, then I did eye cream. And then I'm trying to genuinely think about what I use this morning. Then I did tan lux. Like I say, I've got two events this week. I want to make myself look a bit bright. Um, 
Then I used Tidal. And then I think I came out of the house and then I did my makeup. I did not put SPF on because I came out of the house almost in the dark. Uh, I don't sit in the window and I'll be going home in the dark. I will not be leaving my office until it's dark outside. So I'm not. If, however, it was April and May instead of February and it was bright the minute I leave the house, then yes, I would be wearing it. Or if I was going out at lunchtime or if I had meetings all day, that's different. Um, so that's that. Nighttime, wash your face. Get a flannel to it, wash your face. Uh, acid, two to three times a week. Couple of drops, half a pipette at the most, like this, and then straight on the skin, leave it. It'll dry within a couple of minutes. Uh, you will feel a tingle. Even though it's only a 10% lactic, you will feel a tingle if you have any kind of, like I've got a spot here that's just, it was more like a pimple. Um, and when I use that on it, it kind of goes like tingle, for like two seconds. Um, eye cream, a must. Da, 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 all over. Would you use SPF when you work in hospital all day? No, and God bless you. Uh, like I say, if you're doing night, if you're doing shift work, and you go to work in the dark, and you're coming home in the dark, don't wear an SPF because let's face it, they're not wonderful on the skin. So, you know, if you're working in the dark, going home in the dark, driving in the dark, don't. If you're not, then do. That makes sense. Oh, good. Um, yeah, so nighttime, a couple of drops of oil after you've done your acid. I can't tell you how good this is gonna feel on your skin when you've done this acid. They are immense. I, we did not just go iggity biggity bobbity boo. We were like, okay, let's try. That would look, that would work with that. That would work with that. You know what I mean? Um, now in the evening is when you can do either or. If you're dehydrated and you want something light, go here. If you're a bit knackered, bit older, uh, you've had a hard day, go here. You can mix and match to your heart's delight. You can also mix this in. You can mix this into your Tidal. You can mix it into the, to the Chantikai Jasmine Lily. Entirely want what you want to do, how you want to do it. Um, I do wear SPF inside hospital to protect my skin from white UV lights. Hmm. That's a controversial topic, my lady, and one for a whole other Instagram. Uh, the acid everyone keeps asking is this one. Use the oil this morning and it's just beautiful. Isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? So recap. Let me just do a recap and who can't use anything, just in case anyone is asking. Uh, oh, if you're in Australia, bathe in that SPF. Yes, Lauren, bathe. I wish I was in Australia in the summer, please. Um, do I shave my face? No, but I do shave my tash. And Teresa Tami, I might have to show her this because she owes me like, two, she doesn't owe me anything. She does it as a favor, but you know what I mean, turn a phrase. Um, she's doing my laser hair removal. So my beard is not as bad as it used to be, but I've still got that tash. Somewhere in our history, we think there is Native American. My mother was born in Mississippi. So somewhere in the history, we think there is some Cherokee Indian. That's the sort of family rumor mill that we've had for years. Um, and also there is Greek. I have a mustache. Judge away. That's why Jesus made razors. Um, right, this. All skin types. There's no one who needs to avoid this. That's easy, easy. Okay? Uh, oh, my good word. I'm going to swish through the comments at the end just to make sure. Yes, I've had my DNA tested. That's how we found it again. That's how I clarified it wasn't just my mother and an old wife's tale. Um, Oskia. Liquid mask. 10% acid. 10% lactic acid, to be clear. This is safe for everyone. It's safe for pregnancy. It is safe for breastfeeding. Um, I would patch test it if you are really, really sensitive or if you have rosacea here. You could always, though, ignore those areas and put it in other areas. You know what I mean? I'm Greek and proud of my moustache. Well done. I'm glad that you're proud of it. I, however, am not. I want it gone. Um... Dennis Gross, eye cream, ferulic and retinol. Yes, you can use this if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Do not worry, do not be concerned. Um, loads of Greeks, big up the Greeks. Uh, the Greek side of the family also gave me thalassemia. Thank you very much. So yes, I have a blood disorder. Um, used the mask last night, another level of baby soft skin. It's immense. Uh, so you're good to go on this. Now, like I've said before, if you're 17, 18, 19, 20, you don't need to buy this kit. Let's face it, you can use CeraVe and we all hate you whatever, don't really hate you. 
um, I am going to design when it's when I'm doing a big kit like this I am going to design it with my people in mind do you know what I mean um, I did not make this kit for Ava she doesn't need it she steals all my shit anyway what can you do um, you don't need this if you are 15 20 maybe even 25 if you're in your 30s by all also crack on go for it right votary uh, super seed facial oil, 21 super seed oils, really, really lush and soft. It is not going to cause you any further harm. If you are acneic, you should find that the oils in this really calm your skin down. Again, if in doubt, patch test. If you're doing things like Roaccutane and your dermatologist has told you to stay away from oil, listen to them, not some bird on Instagram. If, however, your face feels like it's going to fall off, a couple of drops of this will definitely ease the dryness and the flakiness. Know what I mean? Okay. Tidal. Anyone. Anyone can use it. Old, young, male, female, elephant, giraffe. Knock yourself out. Um, look. Oh, it's just lush. You know when you... Look, look, it's going to come out if I do that. I don't want to waste it. Don't drop it all over the desk. Um, some products just work well with others. And this is one of them. Right, I'm coming back to that lot. Tan Lux, do not need this if you are blessed by Jesus with a lot of melanin. Um, when I saw Oprah last week, she would not need this. Her skin glows from the sixth row. Um, if you are older, because as we pasty white girls get older, we go more sallow, you will love this. It does not make you orange. I mean, unless you think I look orange, and I only really apply it down to here. I don't really do anything here. It's a bit dry, actually, my neck at the moment. It's not very good advertising for myself, is it? Oh, don't look at my neck. It's a bit dry. <laughs> um, you'll love it. Just, but make sure you do wash your hands. It seems really mild, but it is enough to stain your white nails. Shantikai healing mask. Like, we call it healing mask. It's Jasmine and Lily healing mask. Plays well with others. Like, would win MVP if it was a basketball team. A player, rather. Um, I grew up in Clarksdale, Mississippi. And I spent a lot of time in Memphis. Um, yeah, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Face, best face wash for teenage sons, acne. Uh, Sam Farmer. Sam Farmer always does a great face wash or CeraVe. Stay away from Cetaphil. Uh, and then Wren. It's an SPF. Crack on with it, people. Don't go to all this trouble spending all your money. Let me just show you this. All your money on that lot. Let's face it, I didn't spend all my money on that lot. Uh, and that lot, like, we're double-sided. That's the pawn shelves. Um, if you're then going to go and sit in the sun and waste it all. Do you know what I mean? Protect your skin with SPF. I'm going to quickly flick through questions because I need more tea and I've got to edit this video and I've got to put up a, I've got a Q and a with Jordan Samuel I haven't put up. I've got a vlog. I've got to edit the vlog from Oprah. Come on. Um... Okay, okay, okay. I'm just double checking. Da, 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 da. I think we're good. I think we're covered. Oh, uh, skin, Walida skin food. I love Walida skin food. If your skin's agitated and red and flaky, don't try and go in too hard with an exfoliator. You're going to make it worse. I would guess you're going to make it worse. Can't wait for your book. Thank you. Just another mention here because this was in the Space NK kit. Um, oh, skincare expert, Vogue. Thanks, Vogue. Um, this is out April 30th. Little plug. I would put ad, but it's pretty bloody off. It's, I'm adding myself because, like, it's my name and it's my book. So, you know. Um, Save so 25% off skincare when you pre-order the Waterstone signed edition. Uh, your code is SKIN25. I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you that. Don't really care. Because, frankly, I've signed thousands of the things and they need to sell. So, if you could just go and think of my sore hand, that'd be fantastic. Thanks very much. Um, I will see you all soon. Yeah, there is a vlog coming that's like two or three weeks long because it's taken me that long to do it. Oprah is in the vlog. Not, okay, not like, I'm not sitting next to her and Gail on the, cha on the chair. It was Oprah and it was Michelle Obama. And I was very excited. And poor Jim had to stand up in the sixth row as the only man in our area. Yeah, very fun. Uh, yes, you can use Glow Tonic if you're breastfeeding. Uh, hormonal acne on chin. Oh, we could do a whole other session. I will be around more because I am back to back with events in Feb, March, 
I have pretty much cleared so that I can do content, 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 content. Um, uh, yes, please buy a signed copy. Go for it. There is going to be an audio book and I'm doing it myself. And they have told me that I can swear. Uh, I wasn't allowed to swear too much in the book. I had to do a lot of editing. But I can swear in the audio book because we can just do little, you know, little caveats. By the way, this isn't safe for work. Don't listen to it in the car with children in the back seat because they'll learn a lot about the word bollocks. Um, I will see you all soon. The code, I will make sure it's all underneath. The code again is skin25, water stones only, skin25. Um, yes, I will be doing events, not a traditional book tour, events. Come on, people, it's me. I'm not going to go and sit in some shopping mall and make you all stand for two hours. Come on now. Like events, things. Um, also, I'm on Joe Wiley tonight on Radio 2, BBC Radio 2, me and Joe Wiley. I don't know what the topic is. I've told them they can surprise me. I'm doing readers, uh, readers, viewers, listeners. Listeners, it's radio, Caroline. See how that slow process worked. Um, I'm doing listeners' questions, and I'm not sure if we're doing them live or if you can text them in, but if you go to Radio 2, Joe Wiley's slot, it might have info about how you can send questions in. I like doing it off the bat. I like that. Um, yes, audiobook. Anthony Bourdain drops F-bombs all day in his books. Yes, well... I'm not Anthony Bourdain. I'm a middle-aged mother of four and they were very strict. Uh, I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. And now I have to remember to save this thing and put it live. <laughs>